Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Chapter 23, Gauss Law, Problem Number 9. Figure shows a Gaussian surface in the shape of a cube with edge length 1.4 meters. So edge length is 1.4 meters. Side A is 1.4 meters. What are net, electric, uh, net flux phi uh, through the surface and net charge uh, enclosed by the surface if E is equal to now this is for part A and B, okay, part A and B, E is given by 3yj, 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 we had find out flux and uh, charge enclosed in this cube. Now note that field is uh, uh, along J direction, field is along the uh, Y direction, so field is something in this direction field is in this direction and is a function of y so it changes with y so as you increase y this is y axis as you increase y field is increasing so field is something like this something like this it increases as you move rightward something like this now one thing to be noted is this field is parallel to y axis okay this field is parallel to y axis so let me first raise this stuff here field is parallel to y axis so field lines will only cross through the front face and through the through the right face and through the left face through the right face and through the left face for the top face field lines are parallel to the top face for the bottom face field lines are parallel to the bottom face for the front face field lines are parallel to the front face so they won't contribute anything to the flux top bottom uh, front face and the back face will not contribute anything to the flux for a simple reason field lines are parallel to these faces no field line will cross through these faces only the right face and the left face which are perpendicular to y axis okay they will contribute to the flux field lines will be crossing through them because field is in y direction okay now uh, so that would mean that would mean total flux through the cube total flux through the cube is just flux through the right face plus flux through the left face okay through the left face okay now right face and the left face for the right face direction of area is this way which is in positive direction of y axis and remember side is 1.4 so this side is 1.4 square and direction is y direction so j unit vector and for the left face direction of area is this way and 1.4 square again uh, but in negative j direction okay negative j direction one more point to be noted is that this corner here is the origin 0 0 0 so for the right face for the right face y coordinate is 1.4 which is equal to uh, side length Okay, side length from this point to this point it is 1.4 so for the right face y is equal to 1.4 and for the left face y is equal to 0 remember this is the origin so for this face uh, right face uh, y is equal to 0 now this is important for us because we need y value in the electric field so for the right face y is equal to 1.4 and for the left face y is equal to 0 okay y is just equal to 0 now flux flux through the right face is simply e dot a for the right face where y is equal to 1.4 and for the left face flux is again e dot a for the left face with y equal to 0 okay with y equal to 0 so this is equal to e dot a e is 3 y j 3 y is 1.4 j dot a for this side a is 1.4 square j 1.4 square j this is for the right face for the left face Field, since y is 0, so field becomes 0, okay, field becomes 0, so field is 0, dot a, that is simply 0, okay, that is simply 0, so j dot j is 1, this becomes 3 into 1.4 square, 1.4 is 1.4 cube, so flux through the cube is, I have already worked it out, 8.232, 8.232 Newton meter square per coulomb.
8.323. So that is part A. We have to find out flux. Then part B asks us to find out charge enclosure. So Gauss law. Now part B we are asked to find out charge enclosure. So Q enclosure from Gauss law we know is epsilon 0 phi uh, flux through the cube. Epsilon 0 is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12. And then flux through the cube we just found out is 8.232. 8.232 so this comes out to be 7.3 7.3 into 10 to the power minus 11 coulomb so this is charge enclosed by the cube okay this is charge enclosed by the cube 7.3 into 10 to the power minus 11 okay then for part c and d we have uh, two more parts but this same question but feel uh, is different Field this time for C and D, field is given by, field is given by, okay, where is it, uh, minus 4i, minus 4i, plus 6 plus 3y, times j, yeah. So again, we have to find our flux through the cube and charge enclosed by the cube. Now, uh, first I want you to note one thing. If we have a uniform magnet electric field somewhere, okay, we have an ele electric field, uniform electric field somewhere, and we have a closed Gaussian surface, some closed Gaussian surface of any shape, size, it doesn't matter what's the shape and size, just what matters is field is uniform, okay, field is uniform. Then you can clearly see then you can clearly see number of field lines going into the surface is equal to number of field lines leaving the surface. And remember you should know this uh, field lines going into the surface contribute negative flux and field lines coming out of the surface contribute to positive flux. If number of field lines going into the surface is same as number of field lines coming out of the surface that would mean inward flux is same as outward flux. And remember, inward is negative, outward is, outward is positive. That means total flux is zero. So for a uniform, if field is uniform, if field is uniform, flux through any closed surface is zero. Okay, flux through any closed surface is zero. Simple reason, inward flux is same as outward flux. Okay. So uniform field does not contribute anything to flux through a closed surface. Now we are having a closed surface here. Okay, we are having a closer surface here and we are having a field which has a uniform component and a non-uniform component. So I'll rewrite this field as field is minus 4i plus I'll break this 6j plus 3yj plus 3yj. So look, uh, look at this equation. This part is uniform. It does not depend on x, y or z. It is a uniform component. This part is also uniform. This part is also uniform. So this will not contribute anything to the flux because flux due to a uniform field through a closed surface is zero. And this does not contribute anything to the flux because of the same reason. Flux through a closed surface in a uniform electric field is zero. Now this part is non-uniform. This part is non-uniform and this part will contribute to flux. So flux won't be zero. Flux is non-zero because of this part. So when we calculate flux, what matters is this non-uniform part. This uniform part does not matter because it does not contribute anything to the flux. So what contributes to flux is the non-uniform part. So I'll write E non-uniform. We are just considering the non-uniform part of the field, which is 3yj which is 3yj, which is exactly same as in this case, part A and B. So flux will be exactly same, 8.323. And charge enclosure will be exactly same, 7.3 into 10 to the power minus 11. So we don't need to recalculate things. So flux through the cube is exactly same, 8.232, 8.232. Newton meter square per coulomb and then charge enclosed is again exactly same because we have the same field we have same non-uniform part of the field and then the same uh, a cube exactly the same thing so everything comes out to be same 7.3 into 10 to the power minus 11 
into 10 to the power minus 11 uh, coulomb, coulombs, yes. 7.3 into 10 to the power minus 11 coulombs. Okay, so exact. So the important point to note here is you break the field, a uniform part of it, you recognize the uniform part of it and non-uniform part of it. Uniform part of the field does not contribute anything to the flux through the closed surface. So just reject them for your calculations. Only consider the non-uniform part of the field which in this case happens to be same as the previous parts. So result is going to be same as previous parts. Okay, so that'll do for this session.